सो हेलो एवरी वन सिंस मैनी ऑफ यू हैव गॉट योर इंटरव्यू इन्विटेशन मेड फ्रॉम टी सी एस फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम ऑफ द इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस मे बी यू आर फ्रॉम सी एस सी सिविल इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑल ऑफ द इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंसिस विल बी कवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स सो देर विल बी अ प्ले लिस्ट अवेलेबल ऑन माई चैनल वेयर यू कैन वॉच डिफरेंट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स सो बेसिकली देर आर सम जनरल पॉइंट्स दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड बिफोर अटेंडिंग द इंटरव्यू ऑल्सो देर इज सम प्रिपरेशन नीडेड बिफोर हैंड रिगार्डिंग द टेक्निकल एंड मैनेजरियल राउंड ऑल ऑफ दोज विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियोज सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो of tcs ninja interview experience of csc branch this is of myself this is my own interview experience i am starting with and from the next video i'll share other in interview experiences okay so let's start so first of all i'll be covering some general points what what that you have to remember so in during my interview all the tr mr and hr round were all together only means there were no separate hr round afterwards but in many cases there were some cases in which hr round was taken separately for some students so camera was on of tr and mr in my case and for hr it was off as uh, hr was facing some network issue at that time that was that's why Uh, camera for hr was off so uh, you must have to keep your camera on you don't have any other option uh, student must have to keep the camera on and also you must be properly dressed for this uh, because it is a technical interview you ha you have to properly dressed with informal and try i will suggest try to speak in english only uh, although if you stammer also there is no problem but try to speak in english only because it will create an impact on your interview performance so for me the duration was approx 25 minutes but uh, it may vary for you for many people i have seen interview had extended about 30 minutes up to 45 minutes for many it was of only 15 to 20 minutes or for some people it was only of 10 minutes also so it totally depends what is your interview Uh, interview panel so i would suggest one advice from myself is to keep calm and nervousness will only degrade your performance so what you have to do is you have to keep calm during your whole interview so if you don't know any answer uh, i would suggest directly say no and don't give made up answers because they are very experienced people and they know whenever you are making some answer they know already that you are making it up so i would suggest that whatever this ask if you know it then say it directly otherwise tell them that i uh, currently i can't remember or i can't recall this topic and at the last general point i would like to say is don't take it too lightly i have seen many people got rejected in the interviews too so it's not like that uh, since you have reached up to interview it means that you have like you are selected only there are many people who got rejected from the interviews too and it's very disheartening to get rejected from interview round so that's why uh, it it will be very helpful if you prepare in advance for it so now let's start with the technical rounds what were the questions that were asked to me uh, since it's it's been long uh, my interview was in december so i have tried to cover as much questions as possible in this uh, video also if you uh, want some other branches video or if you have uh, some doubts or questions regarding interview you can ask in the comment section i will try to answer as many questions as possible so the first question that you have to prepare for your uh, for your interview is introduce yourself or tell me about yourself so this is a question which you have to prepare because no matter whether you are from any branch or any stream you have to introduce yourself first so the interviewer automatically will ask you that 
to introduce yourself so you have to basically prepare a introduction of about 30 to 60 minutes not too long so that they will get a brief idea of from from which stream you are and uh, try to cover some different points that are not mentioned in your resume because uh, they already know those points which are mentioned in your resume so the next point is in my case the main focus of technical interview was on oops because uh, in my introduction only i have spoken a little bit about oops that's why they changed their focus on oops so you can also do this strategy you can also follow this strategy if you speak some technical terms in your introduction itself they will try to ask question on that only so some questions that were asked to me on oops were what is polymorphism so you can look out for this answer you don't have to give a very detailed explanation maybe like two or three sentences a maximum of 15 to 30 second answer will be sufficient so next question was what is inheritance what is the difference between c and c plus plus that is you have to tell that c plus plus is an object oriented language and what are the differences that is introduced in c plus plus and also uh, i was asked what are the different types of inheritance and a simple query was asked from sql uh, the technical in the technical round the interviewer had asked me uh, do you know something about sql so first of all i had said uh, because i was not very much sure so i had told that uh, i am i know basics only so a simple query was only asked to me and uh, why why this question on sql was asked because i have uh, mentioned my sql in my resume that's why they have put this my um, uh, mysql question to me so you have to be sure that whatever you are uh, putting in your resume uh, it should be complete uh, you should have complete information about it so uh, also the next question that were asked to me uh, as such uh, i was not asked to perform any code uh, coding question because uh, time was very less or i don't know what would be the reason so i was only uh, asked only one coding question that too i i have to say verbally and uh, the interviewer told me that you have to explain the code verbally in 10 seconds and then they told uh, tell the code uh, in which we have to find whether a digit is even or not so it's very simple code we just have to run one loop and our uh, uh, task will be completed so i have explained that so after that uh, the interviewer asked me about uh, tell me something about your project so always make sure that uh, whatever project that you have mentioned in your resume you should speak about that only so that interviewer will get complete idea about what you are saying and maybe they they may have some cross question on your project so be ready for it so always uh, revise your project thoroughly before uh, attending the interview so next question that was asked to me was uh, some basic questions on ai and ml first of all they have told me that do you know something about ai and ml uh, most of mostly in all the interviews they ask something about mi uh, ml and ai so you must have basic understanding of what is ai and ml and what are the technologies current technologies latest that are going on in the market and at last uh, once the technical all the different technical questions were over they asked do you have any questions for me so i would suggest that you should also uh, prepare some questions for the interview in advance that uh, so that they don't feel like you are not interested at all or you are nervous in that case so what i have asked is so once i get the project uh, or once i get selected in your company what are the technologies that i have to work upon so based upon that they had given different answers they had said that whatever will be the technology first of all you will be given training and different uh, you should be basically a good learner in that case so that you can learn whatever learn and adapt to whatever the technology that is given to you so the next question round uh, so over here managerial round start and the technical was over for me but it was not like the technical uh, interviewer had left the meeting he was still there and managerial started so in the managerial some questions were asked and also in uh, since i have as i have told you that uh, the internet there was an internet issue with the hr so the questions of hr were also asked by the uh, asked to me in the mr round only 
so you will see that in managerial round i have included some hr questions it was because my in, in my mr round only my hr questions were asked so first question was why do you want to join tcs so you have to say basic things about tcs like uh, also this is a uh, point to note over here that you should prepare some basic question answers on uh, company itself that is you should study uh, who is the chairman ceo when was the company established and all those things basically you should write it down before only so that you will not uh, like forget or whenever you are asked to uh, say about something like what do you know about the company uh, so that you don't uh, get nervous in that case so the next question was are you ready to work in night shifts uh, i had said yes I, uh, and i would also suggest you to say yes because uh, even though if, uh, it doesn't matter now whether they will give you night shifts or not but it is very important that you say, say yes in this case are you ready to be the okay yes you have you always have to say yes i also said yes in this case because these are basic questions uh, in which if you say no you might get rejected so you should say yes in this case also what are your strength and weaknesses this is one of the questions which you should prepare beforehand and you should uh, speak strength and weaknesses in such a way that it should uh, it should give a positive impact about you so what i have said was my strength is that uh, whatever the task that is given to me i just fully focus on that task and complete it before the deadline and what in the weakness what i have told is the weakness is also related to this only that uh, whenever a task is given to me i get so much involved in doing that task that i sometimes forget or sometimes skip my meals or other tasks that are not that much important which eventually which sometimes leads some health issues and other things so the next question was where do you see yourself in 5 years it totally depends upon you how do you answer that question what i have said was i would see myself in 5 years as a team lead you can also say whatever you like but this is also very common question that you can expect in your interview so next question that was asked to me was tell us something about your achievements that you would like to mention uh, since uh, the resume that i have uploaded uh, while applying for tcs was uh, very before and the interview almost happened after 2 months of that uh, after the exam results came and everything so the resume i have not updated that resume but i was ready with my new resume uh, so they also asked me that in your resume uh, you do not have mentioned any achievement section so i told them that i have i have the updated resume ready with me so they told that no we don't want you can just tell only Uh, verbally what are your achievements and all so i would also suggest you that you should keep if you want that uh, there there if you want that some changes should be there in your resume what you should do is you should prepare a different resume and keep it with yourself and if they ask you can always uh, put that resume in the chat section so in the achievements you can mention any achievements if you have uh, like given some exam and uh, you have gained some uh, nice rank or something you can mention that if you have done some volunteer work or if you have gained some scholarship whatever it can be you can mention that in the resume in the interview if given a chance to work on a project about which you don't have much knowledge what would you do so in this type of question you always have to say that i am ready to learn whatever the given technology is and if once trained i will like do give my best to work upon it so this was one of the managerial Uh, questions that i faced in my interview uh, and the next question was if given a chance between leading a team and perform working in a team both the roles have same pay what would you select so this is to check whether you take any opportunity up front or not so in this case you have to say that i would also be prepared for leading a team because i can i can be a great team leader and i can make my team work well in this case so it totally depends on you this is uh, uh, everyone's perfect perception is different about this question so it depends upon you how you answer this question do you consider yourself as a learner so this was one of the question that was asked to me i have said yes i consider myself as a learner i learn every day and the next question was also i was asked about uh, as i have told you that uh, i was asked to uh, by 
there is no achievement section in my resume as, as I've told you this point is covered I have tried to include all this question from my interview and uh, there is a possibility that I might have forgotten some because my interview was in December and it's been like seven to eight months now I don't know how many so there might be chances that I might have forgotten some questions but these are the main questions that majorly plays a uh, role in your selection or rejection so I have included them and also whatever the question is try to speak with confidence so that uh, the chances of getting selected will increase so uh, after um, uh, the questions in MR round were completed the HR then uh, came and she asked that uh, since there were some network issues so already the HR questions were covered in the MR round and uh, so the so finally at last the HR only just told me that you have to share your screen and just show all of your mark sheets I already knew that this question was asked to some people so I have prepared beforehand only uh, the a PDF of all the mark sheets that is 10th 12th and all of my semester mark sheets so that when they will ask you can show them so you also have to do this and keep it in your laptop so whenever if they ask you have to show them and there are some points to note I am going to make a complete playlist of the interview experiences on my channel which will have interview experiences of different people from various branches various colleges and you can expect different question based upon your branch first because uh, as I was from CS so mainly I was asked questions on OOPS and coding if you are from electrical CE ME EC and different branches you might uh, get asked different questions based upon your core subjects therefore you have to prepare in that way so I will bring some more videos of uh, different branches so that you can prepare according to that and uh, if you like this video uh, and if you found that this video has helped you in some way then please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, also just check the playlist section of my channel so that if there are more videos that you want you can see them so all the best for your exam for your interviews and uh, I'm sure that you will definitely make into this role just there is some preparation that you have to do beforehand so that you might not get ending up in nervousness or something that you feel that I should have prepared beforehand so that's all for this video thank you so much